Facial recognition has made life so much simpler, right? In the last decade or so, we have seen the integration of facial recognition technology regularly, such as unlocking smartphones, facial biometric access at airports to help board planes faster, reviewing CVs, tracking criminals, helping marketers improve buying and selling. So how does this work? Facial recognition technology entails facial detection, verification, identification and classification. The technology is used to infer a user's age, gender and emotions and feeds on the biometric data to throw up results. Now with facial recognition tech, if someone has short hair, they're categorized as a man. If they're wearing makeup, they're a woman. Such assumptions are based on biometric data like an individual's bone structure and face shape. So to be identified by the tech, you need to fit into the norm. The drawback is that people who don't fit easily into these two categories like many trans and non-binary individuals are misgendered. These systems don't just fail to recognize that trans people exist, they literally can't recognize that trans people exist, says O.S. Keys, a researcher who's written extensively on the topic. Not just sexist, today's artificial intelligence is also quite racist. Are you a white person? If yes, then the software likes you and will identify you 99% of the time. But what about the rest of the world? The darker the skin, the more errors arise. Joy Bulavini, a researcher at MIT Media Lab, conducted an extensive study on the topic and found that up to nearly 35% of images of darker-skinned women were misidentified by facial recognition technology. Let's take a quick look at the findings. Gender was misidentified in up to 1% of lighter-skinned males in a set of 385 photos. Gender was misidentified in up to 7% of lighter-skinned females in a set of 296 photos. Gender was misidentified in up to 12% of darker-skinned males in a set of 318 photos. Gender was misidentified in 35% of darker-skinned females in a set of 271 photos. The study also highlighted that facial recognition algorithms made by Microsoft, IBM, and Face++ were more likely to misidentify the gender of black women than white men. Here's the logic. In today's artificial intelligence, data rules. AI software is only as smart as the data used to train it. So if there are more white men than black women in the system, it won't identify black women. Let's look at some other use cases of this technology for the good or bad, but mostly bad. Giggle, a women's only networking platform launched in 2020 allows women to form communities and search for potential business partners, housemates and friends. To use the platform, women need to take a selfie which the app then analyzes using facial recognition software to verify their gender. The website read. Giggle is for girls. However, due to the gender verification software that Giggle uses, trans girls will experience trouble with being verified. The message was taken down. However, the app still doesn't specify how trans women can enroll. Another app, Genderify, launched in 2020, determines the gender of a user by analyzing their name, username, and email address using artificial intelligence. Genderify's AI results carried gender stereotype prefixes like doctor or scientist lean towards the male and the word stupid had 61.7% probability of being identified as female. Women in Berlin were given discounted subway tickets based on their facial scan but will they always be accurate? Let's stop here for a second. What is the worst that can happen if facial recognition fails at identifying you? Here are the problems. Firstly, a person's gender is inferred only by assessing their physical characteristics. Secondly, AGR assumes gender and sex to be the same thing. Being rejected by a machine in such a scenario can be not only humiliating and inconvenient, but also trigger an even more severe reaction. 
anti-trans and racist attitudes would be encouraged even more if machines misidentify them. Sometimes people would take it upon themselves to police these places, threatening their rights. You want to enter a public washroom that uses facial recognition for access and AI terms you as a wrong gender. Not just that, but also triggers the alarm to the local police station. Unfortunately, these incidents have led to numerous harassment and violent instances. In 2015, Google had to apologize after its image recognition application labeled African Americans as gorillas. Face recognition tech was also employed to monitor and identify Black Lives Matter protesters. Technology can also lead to a high degree of discrimination. The way ahead is to train algorithms better. Researchers need to use diverse and representative databases instead of the standard training databases, which are white and male. In addition, there should be a conscious effort in identifying biases and eliminating them at their initial stages. There is an urgent need for more representation from people of color and other genders to strike a balance and create technology for all.